at the very early age or even in their declining years. Though their vision spans global reality, mage are very much the products of their environments. Some are balanced and contemplative, others are harsh and crude. Magic is not limited to the scholarly few. Anyone can be a mage. The factions of war, despite the infinite variety of awakened souls, four large factions dominate magical society, although many mages, often called orphans, do not follow any set path. These four major groups wage an ascension war in the name of their chosen goals. The, tr <coughs> the traditions a rough council of nine mystic styles of magic. The wizards of the nine traditions strive to maintain a balance of sorts while returning wonder to humanity. Although these sorcerers hold to different philosophies and practices, all nine groups are opposed to the static reality espoused by their technocratic foes and the chaos of the darker factions. I don't know what I just read there. Hmm. The technocracy. Technocracy? A seemingly monolithic union dedicated to reigning in supernatural random elements and saving humanity from the dangers it is not fit to face. By the technocracy's degree, mystic magic is not possible. Only science is allowed to alter these natural laws. Because the majority of sleepers, those unawakened to the mystical potential, trust in science. Technomancers have an edge over the other factions when it comes to getting things done. The Marauders The Marauders have a technocrats, te technocrats polar, are the technocrats polar opposites. More a state of mind than a federation. These chaotic majors embody dynamic change taken to a demented extreme. An ideal world to them would be one in which every person created his own personal reality or lived in a single marauder's dementia. Marauders are, marauders are rare, unpredictable and often deadly. The Nefandi have chosen to follow the absolute path of darkness and corruption. They deem themselves a mirror which will either reflect or absorb all light. Though the most terrible of them have been cast out of the material world, these fallen ones work behind the scenes to follow the misery and damnation, to further the, to further the misery and damnation of the world of darkness. They sound like the bad guys. Um, or well, some of them, actually um, all four of them sound a bit um, off. Um, reality, paradox and ascension. Reality is a work in progress. Constant change keeps the universe alive. Magic is the most dynamic example of change. The alteration of reality is by enlightened force of will. As humanity settles into a mundane rut, however, uh, magic seems out of place or even impossible. When realities clash, when the possible and impossible collide, the result is paradox. In the most violent conflicts, this paradox effect becomes manifest. Striking back in any number of ways, a mage, any mage, who causes change too quickly can invoke paradox. And gods help him then. The vision that comes so naturally with magic's awakening inspires most mages to some greater goal or ultimate end to reality shaping. The traditions refer to this as ascension. 
but disagree as to what form such ascension could take were it to happen. To the technocracy, ascension is the world made safe, purged of random elements and firmly under control. They sound like the Weaver from Werewolf. Um, well, then the Fandy sound like the Worm. I'm not sure about the two others. Um, the extreme paths too have ultimate goals, but their ideals have leave little room to compromise for compromise or survival. I could read on, but I'm rather lost here. They have a lexicon here. Gaia, they use the word Gaia. Com common name for the Earth Mother, who also used by some nature conscious, conscious mystics to personify Earth and its near umbra. Yeah, they, 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 um, the mages, um, uh, they can enter the spirit world too. They also have the umbra in their game as well. It is possible to play all five games together, uh, five or six games together, crossover. I think there are rules for it, but um, it's also been said it's not really meant to be played that way. Like, it can be attempted though. But they didn't really uh, write it for that. They said it's just way too... It, it, they're actually way too unbalanced, the um, classes, when um, placed against one another. Not not the classes, but the um, each supernatural, you know, werewolf, vampire, mage, demon, wraith, hunter, changeling. Um, <coughs> often sleepings who have awakened spontaneously without the assistance or guidance of other mages. They have taught themselves magic and are often considered dangerous wild cards. Nodes, a highly mystical place. Nodes collect and store quintinents, and the gauntlet in their vicinity is thinner. Many chantries, gates, and portals are built over these sites. A lot of nodes are actually um, cans, werewolf cans, cans, or whatever they are. I call them cans. Uh, in the um, in the video, um, there was a game computer game for Werewolf, the Apocalypse, that was being made, but it was abandoned. Um, possibly months from the release, but um, they did do a, they did release um, a trailer for it, um, and there's um, there's also the cutscenes that you can watch too. Uh, if you um, turn here, turn here. Um, what's it called? It was called, um, um, I'll just type in well with the Apocalypse. Uh, something to do with Gaia. Yeah, I know my spelling's off, but, um, What's this split? Well, this is funny, this scene. It's from Pacific Rim. Pink socks, pink cotton candy, pink dresses, pink flip flops, pink circles. Oh, do pink I have to sit hat. through this bloody shit? Where is it going? No, I didn't. I've got to... Now I'm stuck on this bloody page.
Oh, here it is. We won't see that scene from uh, Pacific Rim now. Is this the one? Oh, well, it's called Heart of Gaia. Uh, and they cancelled it. Uh, I think it was dropped by the publishers. Uh, and they stopped working on it, abandoning it. Uh, uh, it was abandoned completely. But it was going to be a... Just improve the quality a bit. Just watch this um, part here. Watch the moon. Oh no. World awaking yes. Yeah, yes. In the deep places, in the wind blasted wastes, in the seas of debris and rivers of poison. This is twisted mid Damn. This gives you a good idea of, is... of what it's like. Already the war has begun. Werewolf oh. tribes, once Gaia's only means of defense against the world of servants, break apart like the Damn, it's buffering. That's a Fomori. Little girl Fomori. There's a werewolf there. It's about to go hunting. Yeah, I'm recording. Oh. Um, there's a whole series of um, cutscenes here. Um, I could go and watch them these, but I don't have the time. You can watch them if you can find them. Just Google, just search for um, Werewolf Heart of Gaia movie on YouTube. And uh, I think I'll end it there. Because Dad just turned the bloody computer, uh, TV on. Goodbye. We'll read more about uh, Mage later.